Manzella here from the New York City Peaceful Streets Project and uh, I'm with my buddy Nick Payone and we were about to go into the subway when we were stopped at a checkpoint because Nick is carrying a backpack and the NYPD wanted to search his backpack before allowing him onto the subway. Here's, the, here's the confrontation that ensued. Well, you don't have a problem all day. Yeah, they're all tools. So what crime do you suspect him of okay. that you want to search Seriously. him? It's random, random checks. For what? For for the terrorism, random checks. Okay. Can you go to the car? Seriously, can we go to the car? I don't want to deal with this. You guys, why are you, why are you doing this? This is so aggravating. So what are you going to do if he decides he doesn't want to get searched? You're going to arrest him if he goes through the subway? Arrest him for what? On what charge? What's the charge? <laughs> Fucking hilarious. You guys are ridiculous. Hilarious. Arrest me. Do you know what the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution my right. says? My right it says the people shall be citizen. free from a unreasonable citizen, searches right? and seizures. But I have to bow down to the authority of, of, of the Stasi here. Respect Thank his authority. Yes, there you go. I'm going to the car or find somebody. What do you want to do? I honestly don't know. I mean, you're really going to make us go down to court, tell you? Yes. You can do whatever you want. I'm not making you anything. I want to know, you know what, what crime he's suspected should, everybody of. Everybody else should be doing the exact same thing. Because this is entirely bullshit. And you know what? I understand you're doing your job. But honestly, if you were on the other end, you'd be thinking a little different. Seriously. Okay, you know, this this is this is how it starts. And it's been going on for a long time like this, okay? This series is how it starts. And I'm telling you, I'm taking my history repeats itself. Now exactly what everybody did 80 years ago is happening right now. Okay? Seriously. You gotta look through my shit. Why? What did I do? What is where is your suspicion? Because I'm the 15th person? That is completely ludicrous. So how do you how do you reconcile ludicrous. that with the Fourth Amendment Seriously. of the Constitution? All right, every 15th person gets ludicrous. searched. Whatever you Thanks. want to do. Let's go. See, no. Why should I have to be inconvenienced that I have to go to another station because yeah, they want to violate the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution? Let's go. Let's go this way. They're not gonna say nothing, dude. I want to know what your justification is. How do you justify violating the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution just because you feel like it for every 15th person? You can sigh all you want. Let's hear it. What's your badge number? Sir. I got you right. Thanks. So folks, the moral of the story is stand up for your rights, even if it's inconvenient. Now we have to drive to the city rather than take the subway. Fight the power. Because standing up for our constitutional rights is more important than the inconvenience of having to walk to another train station or having to drive. Everybody, if everybody stood up to the NYPD and did not allow unwarranted searches on the, of their person and property, then they would have no choice but to stop those searches. So stand up for your rights. Danny Panzella from the Peaceful Streets Project, New York City. Peace.